Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, Multiply with Nines. This is another fast lesson. Nine has lots of nice little patterns to it, so um, uh, what strategies can we use when multiplying by nine? Okay, don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. And if you go over there to the, when you go there, go to your third grade link and you'll find it there. Okay, uh, I'll try and show that to you on one of these videos. Anyway, so here's an example. Cats have nine lives, they say. I don't know if they do or not, but that's what they've said forever, as long as I've been alive. So um, uh, if you have seven cats, then how many lives will there be? Okay, so there's a nice black kitty cat. So, uh, so basically, we're looking for seven times nine here, you guys. So one way is to use the distributive property. So We'll show you how to use the distributive property with addition. We're going to uh, replace this 9 right here with 3 plus 6. So here's the 9 with 3 plus 6. So instead of 7 times 9, it's 7 times 3 plus 6. And then uh, let me move that up. And then we'll just use the distributive property right there. And we do 7 times 3 plus um, 7 times 6 right there. Okay. And then we multiply those products right there. So 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 6 is 42. And then we just go ahead and add those products together and we get 63. Okay, so there's one way right there. So let's try it with subtraction. So we're going to use the distributive property again and try it with subtraction. Subtraction. 9 is the same as 10 minus 1. And uh, 7 times 10 is 70. And 7 uh, times 1 is 7. So we're going to have... Um, uh, we're going to have 70 minus uh, 1 or 7 right there, and 70 minus 7 is going to give us 63. Okay, so so 7 cats would give us seven, or 63 lives, okay? All right, I don't know if that's true or not, but here's another pattern uh, uh, about 9s, you guys. Patterns of 9s. This table at the right shows 9s uh, facts, okay? So over here we have 1 times 9 is 9, 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 9 is 27, 4 times 9 is 36, 5 times 9 is 45. So what do you notice about, whoops, I forgot my T right there. What do you notice about, uh, about the tens digits, okay, the tens digit in the product. Okay, this one doesn't have a tens digit, so we can pretend like there's a zero there. This one, the tens digit is 1. This one, the tens digit is 2. That's a tongue twister for me. The tens digit here is the 3, and this one's the 4. Well, what do you notice about those tens digits? Well, look, um, these numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4. And look over here, the numbers we're multiplying. It's 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, can you see that the tens digit over here is always 1 less than the number that was being multiplied by 9? That's one of the patterns about 9, you guys. The tens digit is always 1 less than the number that's being multiplied by the power of 9. So right here, I'm going to put 1 less than uh, the power that's being multiplied by 9. Okay, now check this out, you guys. What do you notice about the sum of the digits in the product? Okay, so there, remember, that's like a 0 right there. So 0 plus 9 is 9. What do you notice about the sum of these digits? What's 1 plus 8? That's 9. What's 2 plus 7? Hey, that's 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. 4 plus uh, 5 is 9. So the sum of the digits in this product right here, remember product is the answer to a multiplication, the sum of the digits is 9. So look, the, 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 well, let's put that down first, you guys. So the sum of the digits is always 9 right there. Okay, so now we know this. We know the tens digit is always 1 less than the number being multiplied by 9. So, so let's do this one here. So the tens digit is going to be one less than this number right here. It's going to be 50 blank. And then the other part is the sum of the digits always add up to 9. So 5 plus what equals 9? 5 plus 4 equals 9. So 6 times 9 would be uh, 54, okay? That's pretty slick. I love that one right there. So to multiply 7 times 9, think that the tens digit is one less than this one. So it would be 6. And then the ones digit uh, is, oh, is going to be um, uh, what adds to 6 to make 9. 6 plus 3 would be 9. So the ones digit would be 3. So the product would be 63 right there, okay? Because look, you guys, this is 1 less than this. And 6 plus 3 equals 9, so it has to be 63 right there, okay? And then lastly, let's complete the table here, you guys. Okay, well, we talked about this one. So 1 less than 6 is 5, and 5 plus 4 equals 9, so this one's going to be 54. Okay, so when we multiply by 7, well, we have it right here. But 1 less than 7 is 6, so 6 plus 3 is, is 9, 63. Okay, 
1 less than 8 is 7, so put a 7 right here, and 7 plus what equals 9? 7 plus 2 equals 9. Pretty slick, huh? 9, 1 less than 9 is 8, and then 8 plus 1 equals 9. It's 81. Okay, 9 has lots of cool tricks to it. All right, you guys, take care. Don't forget your lessons are found at mrmathblog.com.